Hello and welcome to Robotic Surgery Insights. Thanks for joining me today, Gokan. Hi, Joseph. Thank you for having me. Good to be here. Could you start by providing an overview to yourself, uh, Brain Navi, and your role at Brain Navi? Sure. My name is Gokan. I work as a business owner manager at Brain Navi. My roles and responsibilities include overseeing international expansion, commercialization, and pretty much managing day to day business owner activities globally. Brain Navi is one of the leading surgical robotics companies in Taiwan and having a promising product portfolio, including its flagship product, Nautrack, which is a neurosurgical navigation robot. And which clinical applications can Neotrack be used in? Nautrack, for the time being, can be used for cranial applications. And what are these cranial applications? Um, biopsies, tumor ablation, endoscopic surgeries, EVDs, ICH, um, DBS, ACG. So in a way, it's a delivery platform where you might want to insert a chip, electrode, or even a drug as a targeted therapy. So all these uh, applications are possible. It comes with one of the most sophisticated and advanced planning, navigation, and guidance function. And with that, it is assisting neurosurgeons in these challenging brain surgeries. And could you talk a bit about the benefits of using a robot in neurosurgery? With Nautrack, we aim to make surgeries more precise more efficient and safer than ever before. Precision is the key leading to good surgical outcomes in neurosurgery. And when it comes to speed and efficiency, we have our own patented process, a registration process, which is able to reduce the surgery time quite significantly, can also bring substantial OR benefits. We do have a robotic arm that is of course minimizing the human error in the process and can also reduce the surgeon fatigue in the long term. So all those things that I listed here uh, are, in a nutshell, the benefits of robotic neurosurgery. Um, just to give you a tangible example, uh, our robotic arm, while navigating inside the brain, is able to move from one point to another uh, at a speed of as slow as 0.5 millimeter per second. So this is, this is really slow and stable. And when you think about it, it's nearly impossible to be performed like this by human hands alone. What would you say are some of the main um, limitations with the existing systems in the market and how is Neotrack overcoming these sort of limitations? You know, most existing solutions include navigation markers and a very long, very complicated registration process, which is usually leading to a great level of frustration in the eyes of healthcare providers. On the other hand, our solution is much more intuitive because we are using a totally different technology, surface matching with machine vision, and complete the patient registration process almost instantly. Uh, the process is contactless, frameless, and non-invasive. In addition to this, there is an instrument registration process too. In our solution, can be done totally automatic, done performed by a robot every time, and not only makes it faster, but also much safer than other solutions in the marketplace, uh, many of which are being performed manually. Great. And... Um... Looking forward now, what are some of the uh, sort of milestones that Brain Navi is looking to achieve further down the road? Our global install base is growing as we continue to build momentum outside of Taiwan. We have reached uh, more than 100 clinical cases as of today and signed several distribution contracts, so more installations are on the way. But the pace depends on the local regulatory as well. Um, another factor that's affecting is uh, because we are applying to a limited market release strategy in many of the markets that we enter, meaning that we are being very selective in identifying the key distribution partners that we want to work with in order to make sure that we are providing excellent clinical and service support in the field for those hospitals and surgeons, especially for uh, early adapters and, and first-time adapters. But I think moving forward, AI, you know, robotics, solutions like Nautrack, I think the global adoption is inevitable. And it's just a matter of time. So our job here is to make sure that we are accelerating this, uh, impacting positively uh, as we move forward. And overall, I'm, I'm quite optimistic. Impressive roadmap of uh, goals you're working towards. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you would like to sort of say to our listeners? Yes, I do. You know, one of the goals is to make this technology more accessible to healthcare providers and patients worldwide. 
So if you are a distributor or a neurosurgeon listening to this, I highly recommend you to contact me to be able to learn and witness this technology of now track first hand and uh, see the capabilities. That would be my wish. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's been great discussing with you and we'll all be keeping an eye out for progress for Brain Navi in the coming months. Oh, thank you too, Joseph, for the interview and the chance to share my thoughts. Mm -hmm.